Hey, what's going on guys? Porter here. Today we're going to do a gun guide over the new LMG that they incorporated in Season 4. This is the MG82. This thing's an absolute beast right now, so I highly recommend trying to get it as quick as possible. It's in the Battle Pass on Tier 15, so definitely try to grind that out and get your hands on it before it pops, possibly gets nerfed. Um, I almost guarantee they do nerf it. It is ridiculously strong right now. Um, it definitely made it overpowered on release so definitely try to grind it out and level it up and have fun with it while uh, you can I'm not sure when they'll nerf it, it could be mid-season it could be a couple weeks I don't know but other than that in this video we'll talk about attachments we'll go over how to use and at the end I'll give an overall rating and then in a separate video I'll have gameplay of this gun just so you how you can see how good it is right now but Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's go and get into it. All right, guys, here's a quick overview of my attachments. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and explain the individual attachments, why I pick them, and I'm also going to give you other picks that you can swap out with. I think that, that it will be good picks. So let's start with the muzzle here. So with the suppressor, since it is an LMG, it's going to be slower. It's going to ADS slower, so that's why I went with the suppressor. They re-kitted the sound suppressor in Season 3, so now it's a really good option. So obviously it gives you sound suppression, it helps with that aim down sight speed that I was talking about, it helps make that quicker. Then it helps with bullet velocity, which is really important, so it connects your bullets uh, to the enemy so you don't have to lead your shots. And it's going to help with that sprint the, uh, sprint the fire speed, so just a little bit of a bonus, that's not as important for long range guns. But it will hurt your effective damage range, but we're going to make that up with the barrel. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But if you want even more damage range and better bullet velocity, you could go with the agency suppressor. So it's going to help with that vertical recoil just a little bit. And like I said, then the bullet velocity and effective damage range is going to help out with. But the cons here, the, the aim down sight speed, it will hurt that. And like I said, it's already slow and then you're hurting it again. So that's definitely your call if you want to extend the range even more. But this thing already melts, has a great time to kill. So I think the suppressor is definitely where you go, but you can make that call. As far as the barrel, so they did re-kit some of the barrels for the assault rifles and the LMGs in the Season 4 update just a few days ago, which is really nice. They, they, the barrels needed buffed for the Cold War weapons. So for the LMGs, they buffed the match grade and the task force. So since we're mainly using this for mid and especially long range engagements, uh, I feel like the task force is the way to go because it's going to buff the bullet velocity the most and the effective damage range. Um, that's where it makes up from from the sound suppression negative on the effective damage range and Now the these barrels help with horizontal recoil and vertical recoil now this thing already has pretty good recoil, but if you put this on it helps even more um, but It it does have quite a few negatives here uh, Basically it just kind of hurts like the movement speed and then the aim down sight speed But like I said, we made that up with the suppressor and then we'll make it up with a, a rear grip here in a minute when I talk about that but if you want to, you could go with the match grade too. It's not going to help as much, but it basically does the same thing. But the match grade doesn't hurt like your movement speed and your ADS as much. So I have a video on the patch notes that came out for the season four, and it talks about percentages that it increases all this stuff. So if you want to check that out, um, check out that video that I made or just type in uh, Warzone Patch Notes Season 4 and you can see uh, what they did to the barrels. Um, it's really nice. Like I said, they show the percentages of uh, the bullet velocity and the effective damage range in the recoil. So it's real nice that they laid that out. So for the optic, just go with your comfortable with. I love the axle arms three times. I feel like it looks really good. They, they did a lot of updating here. They updated this as well in Season 3, so it looks a lot cleaner and it looks a lot better. Then for the undergrip, I go with the Field Agent foregrip to help with that recoil even more to make those long range engagements easier. And then for the rear grip, I go with the Airborne Elastic Wrap because it's going to help out your ADS um, the most. And it's going to help with the flinch resistance, which is you know important if somebody's shooting you so your gun doesn't pull up as much so you can help stay on target. Um, but it will have more negatives on it. If you don't like those negatives, you could go with the Serpent Wrap. So one other change you could go with if you wanted to get rid of the elastic wrap because the reload time is very slow on this gun it has a uh, 100 shots but it does reload really slow um, you could get rid of this and you could put on the 125 or you can go with fast mag me personally i'll go with fast mag because you're only getting 25 extra shots with that 
Um, but that's definitely your call there. But I feel like this is um, this so far. This has been my favorite build by far. All right. So how do you use this gun? So it has an amazing time to kill, close, medium, and long range. But obviously with this kitted build. It's going to excel more towards the medium and long range. So since it is an LMG, it is going to be on the slower side as far as movement speed. Now with my uh, kitted attachments, the ADS is going to be pretty good, but still movement speed is going to be slow because it's an LMG. So you'll need a good secondary that's quick and it has good range. Uh, preferably 20 meters and up to 30 meters is a bonus. So for example, I use the LC10. It's a great SMG that goes up to 20 meters and it's even pretty good up to 30 meters and it's really easy to use. So LC10 is a great option. Max is a great option. MP7 is a good option. Um, so most SMGs, they usually go around 15 meters and they have a pretty big drop off. Now, the M I did mention the MP7, it does drop off pretty fast, but it's really accurate. It's easy to use and uh, you can hit up to 20, 30 meters with it. So that's kind of a good little tip there. Have a good secondary that's fast and that it has pretty good range with it. As far as another good advice here, so the reload speed, as I mentioned, is really slow. So the standard 100 shots that it has. So when you go to reload with this gun, as soon as you see on the bottom right that it is full with ammo when you're reloading, either start sprinting or double tap swap weapons and it'll cancel the rest of the animation and it'll make that reload just a little bit faster and that could you know be a deciding factor between a fight or you downing somebody at range all right so an overall rating for this gun right now it's a 9 out of 10 it's on the overpower side they definitely made it strong on release so as I mentioned earlier, definitely get your hands on it before they nerf it. I almost guarantee you they will nerf it at some point. Um, it definitely needs it. Um, it. It is fun to use, but it, it is kind of annoying to be down by somebody else because you can just get melted instantly if you don't see somebody or if they shoot you from behind, you just have no chance. So 9 out of 10 is definitely, I think, a good spot for it. All right, guys, that does it for the attachment video for the MG82. Make sure to pull it up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.